I'm so glad to be home. It's one of those days that just felt like it lasted forever. That was today. I'm sure Heidi felt the same way because she was home by herself all day. Um, and so were you, but I don't know if you really noticed. Yeah. Don't sniff my plate. I just, I got home and I made myself some lunch because late, Liner. we'll kind of call it Liner because it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. And I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch. I had a, a little juicy juice, apple juice at work today. And I sliced off the box top because I remembered. But I did a baked potato, which I flattened out and put some cheesy vegetables on it. That I had in the freezer. The vegetables. Green giant. And then for dessert, some strawberries and bananas. Yeah. I know. Go on. No, no, no. Yeah. See, she's so curious what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm having some tea of the humper variety. Dad made the tea. I just put sweet and low in it. It's not like sweet tea from McDonald's, but it's still good. Uh, we had a, a few computer glitches today. Uh, we got it taken care of. Got the paper done. Hey. Hello. So, I took my flip cam to work today, and I was going to... I shot a vlog while I was there, and I was going to upload it, but then I got hectic, and then I tried and didn't know what the hell I was doing, and then the internet went boom, and... No, it was not the internet. It was the... Uh, networking, which gets you to the internet, so... It was a mess, so I gave up. I'm going to read the manual. I think that I have over there before I really mess with it a lot. Sometimes I try to do like my dad and just try to work something without knowing what the hell I'm doing. You and that tail. Although today at work when I um, had a few down little moments, I'm addicted to watching, and I have been for a while, on Ustream. Before Sue Vlogs, yes, you, Sue, <laughs> got me into watching Phoebe the Hummingbird, and then her eggs got destroyed by a lizard, and I stopped watching for a while. So then I've been watching here lately Molly the Owl on Ustream, and she hatched four of her six eggs out. And yesterday was the first day that Molly had been gone during the day, because every day she stays in there all day long with her babies, but yesterday she was gone and it scared everybody. Everybody freaked out. Did she abandon the babies? Is she gone? Well, her and McGee, the daddy, came back at night and fed them, but I think they're just trying to let them grow, and they watch out for them, and they're really cute. The oldest one's name's Max. He's like big, he's starting to sit straight up and sit up like his mom and dad and sleep up straight and then who's next um Patterson and then there's Austin and Wesley he's the baby he's the runt he he hatched eight days after Max I think and he's a little colored he's a little dirtier colored than his brothers or I want to call him we have they're all referred to as boys and um I was worried about him yesterday when Mo Molly was gone because He's not as strong as the others because he's younger. And the others were all being able to sit up on their feet and sit up to sleep. And he was kind of passed out like a drunken man. I'm like, is he okay? But he, he just isn't as strong as them yet. It was so funny because he would start trying to sit up and he'd just go, boop. I'm like, oh. But they have food in their nest and at their box. And it's really cool. The guy who does this setup, he does an amazing job because he has... Two cameras at the end of the box are uh, mounted on the outside looking in through probably plexiglass, I'm guessing. And one during the day, then at night he has an infrared one. And then he has an external camera also that shows them coming. He has that so when the fledglings start, so when they become fledglings and they start learning how to fly, it'll be fun to watch. So that's what I've been kind of addicted to lately is watching the owls. They're so cute. They're so weird because they'll start cocking their heads sideways and looking at you. 
It looks like they're looking at you, but they're, they're just funny. Um, Heidi's now happy because I got home and she took a really long pee. Now she's in there passed out. I gave her a piece of bologna and she's content. I called dad about an hour ago and he was getting, he was outside of Lansing. He hasn't passed Lansing yet. So he said he probably won't get home to like six tonight. And, um, he's driving back to the car they drove up there, which is a cobalt. Um, I can't remember what he said the guy was driving back. I don't know. He said he did really good driving up there. He never really had to stop. But when I talked to him on the phone, he says, I'm ready to get out and stretch my leg. I'm looking for a rest stop. And then all of a sudden I hear, sweet Jesus, one mile to a rest stop. <laughs> and he was so happy. Who could this be? Let's see. I know it scared you. Phone. It's Grandma. Let's see what Grandma has to say. Hello? Hi. Dad call you? Yeah, I talked to him about an hour ago. Well, that's when he called me. He was at Flint, I guess, he said. Yeah, he was getting ready to go by not far from Lansing when I talked to him. He was looking for a rest area so he could stop and stretch his hip. Well, he must have called you about the time he did me, I guess. Yeah. Well, he was wondering if Roy's all right, but he couldn't get a hold of him. I said, well, he was this morning because I talked to Wanda. How's Roy doing? Well, about the same. He still hurts like crazy. Does he? Yeah, he does, so. I figured Dad calls off. Yeah, he's cruising. I told well, him you get... must be up around Detroit, huh? Uh, this was way above Detroit. This was uh up, up high. Yeah, I over it up. <laughs> yeah, I think it going the other way towards Traverse City and stuff, but that's something else. So. Yeah. Okay. At least uh, he's giving himself a test run for when you go to Arkansas in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I told him. I said, well, you can kind of. You know, figure out what you're going to do. Well, Linda's going so she can help him drive, I guess, if we go to yeah. Arkansas. Uh, is Aunt Neva excited you're coming? I'm going to call her next week. Oh. To make sure that she, you know, it's okay to come down. So we yeah. got two more weeks yet. So I thought, well, I'll wait another week anyway. So. Yeah. Okay, hon. I just wonder if Dad had called you, which I figured he had. Yeah, he oh, did. I'm surprised he even had his phone on. Oh, he knew better. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Bye. The grandma. Tula May. She's one of the only Tulas I know. All right, now I'm going to go eat my uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Berliner. Berliner. Berliner.